What is up, everybody? You got Tone here bringing you ICBA Season 1, Week Number 7. This, no, this week, we are up against the man, the myth, the meme, that is Deebs, and his Calgary Flame Wheels, or as some of you may know, as the Orlando Mudkips from the IBL. The IBL. So, we're trying to avoid losing our third game in a row here. Um, it's not it's been the, the best um, couple of weeks, but... I press on and all that stuff, so I'm not gonna make any complaints about me um, and my slump, so to speak. So, as you see, my opponent has a very, very threatening team. He has, you see the Ashra Ninja, um, which is allowed in this league. Uh, he has the Drapion, Raichu, the Smeargle, the Gliscor, and the Scizor. And the, some of the stuff he brought, he didn't bring in the back. He had stuff like Tubble Finny, he had Superior, he had the Arcanine. He had a Cryogonal, and he had the Politoed. So, going into this matchup, I figured i try to build a little bit more of an offensive build, while at the same time, he had a lot of setup mons on his team, like um, self-sweeping like Superior, which I do have Celesteel and Mega Venusaur, which can check both. Um, potential SD Scizor, which I don't really see considering I have Celesteel, which can potentially hard wall it, depending on what, um, set he decides to bring. Um, so that all said and done, I'm not gonna, like, break down this team any more than need be, since some, since some of the Pokemon's roles are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, so first off, I'm just going to bring out the team I brought, uh, standard Stealth Rock 3 attacks, uh, Crocodile with Beat Up as one of my moves. In case he was, um, Focus Sash, Smeargle, I can click Beat Up, bypass the Sash, and take on the Smeargle. Um, Adamant Nature, no Speed Out, run the uh, Jolly Max Speed Smeargle. Um, Celesteela is Autonomized Weakness Policy with Autonomized Fire Blast, Giga Drain, and Earthquake. Uh, Mega Venusaur, uh, very standard defensive. Synthesis Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, HP Fire. Infernape is Life Orb with Fire Blast, Close Combat. I mean, my Fire Blast, Mock Punch, Gunk Shot, Earthquake. Um, Gunk Shot works for the Tower Finny, which he didn't bring. And EQ was for the Arcanine, which he didn't bring. Um, Adamant Choice Scarf, Staraptor with enough speed to outspeed and add a um, Timid Max Speed, Ash Greninja. And standard choice scarf ditto. So, seeing that he brought the Smeargle, um, I figured it was my best interest to lead off with the Crooked Owl and try to see if I can get my tech um, to work right away. Because if he leads off the Smeargle, thinking that um, the worst I can do is taunt him or something like that, prevent it from doing anything crazy. But uh, as you're going to see, I make a lot of um, bad assumptions in this match, and it's going to be sped up just a little bit. To, for time consuming purposes, and this battle is already behind schedule as it is. So he instead leads off with the Greninja here with my Crooked Owl, like I said. So I'm already in a bad spot here. So I'm gonna for I'm basically been forced to um switch out as he's gonna go out into his Drapion, which reveals to be Air Balloon. I'm gonna double out into my Mega Venusaur because Mega Venusaur is my response to his Grenin his Ash Greninja. So my play here, I'm going to stay in and I'm going to um pop the air balloon with the with the Giga Drain, but at the same time he's gonna go for an SD here because he has no reason not to expecting me to switch out. Sorry about that. So I'm gonna go for Giga Drain and pop the air balloon. So here's my first mistake. First mistake, staying in after I popped the air balloon. I should have went directly into Crooked Owl. What was going through my head at this point was the fact that if he goes for, I'm, I was trying to force him to go for another sword stance because um, if he goes to plus four and then takes out my Metasaur, I go into my Ditto, um, copy his stats. I'm at plus four and I'm Choice Scarf, and next thing you know, he has no switchins to. He literally has no switchins into a knockoff here, other than the um, Drapion, which is now. Which just took out my, um, which took out my, uh, Mega Venusaur. So, since he didn't go for the second sword stance, I figured just try to revenge kill it and go for the, um, Brave Bird here with my Staraptor. 
Um, the, uh, the backup play was to go out into Infernate there and click EQ, but um, whatever got the kill. But he got out into his um, his glide score here. So I'm going to make this, the switch into the Crooked Owl here just to get the Intimidate off. He could have been packing something like Ice Fang or Stone Edge on his glide score. Um, but he's just going to make the safe play and go for a Stealth Rock here. Um, now, I'm going to go for my own rocks at this point because it does help me pot potentially break Sash on the, um, on the Smeargle here. But he's going to make the hard switching into Greninja because he knows for a fact that I would not click Earthquake at this point. And outside of Gliscor, he didn't really have a, um, a Earthquake switching unless his Scizor was extremely bulky. So he's gonna go for a Hydrum because I don't have a switching anymore to the to the uh, to the Greninja. So my Crooked is gonna drop here. I was banking on um, Hydropod missing, but as you see, he doesn't miss, and I'm going to trigger his Battle Bond. So we're already behind the eight ball because I love my Mega Venusaur so early on. Um, Astro Ninja is gonna become a pain. So now I'm gonna go out into my Star Raptor here, force this thing out with. A brave bird because I do kill so I'm gonna click u-turn as he's gonna make the safe play and switch out and go back into his glide score um, I could have played double edge at that point but I figured I still want to keep my star raptor at relatively high health just in case um, so I can take hits from some like potential from bullet punch uh, scissor and the like so now I'm gonna go into my Celesteela here and I figured at this point, I would try. I thought about um, setting up an autonomize at this point because Gliscor can't really touch me. It's immune. Um, you know, I know he has Earthquake, but he's going to go into his Smeargle here. And now I make the double into my Ditto here because I was actually expecting him to double into Greninja or, Sis or something not Smeargle. So I go out into um, Control plus C, the Ditto here, just to um, copy the Smeargle, and I see the Smeargle set, and he was rocking um, Sticky Web, U-Turn, uh, Nature's Madness, and uh, Transform, which was a very solid set. So he's gonna go into his Raichu here. Um, this is kind of a, a little bit of a, um, a tricky situation because I went for Webs here. Um, and I guess the ideal play here would to have been to click Nature's Madness, because at that point, I'd be taking away half HP from everything on his team. I'm gonna make a very aggressive play into his into my into my Infernape here, as he's gonna fire up a Volt Tackle. So, um, I could have potentially stayed in and sacked off Ditto, but I figured that Ditto would be able to revenge kill. Stuff like the Greninja, depending on what his um other moveset was. So he reveals his life orb here. He's gonna make the switch into his Glide Score, predicting me to go for the Mock Punch just to try to sack it off. Um, he also could have stayed in because Raichu was naturally faster than Infernape, and I was only speed creeping Drapion. Now he knows I'm Life Orb, and I'm gonna click Fire Blast to follow this next turn here because I really had no reason not to. Um, and he makes the smart play, save his Glide Score, and sack off his Smeargle. Um, pending, I do connect with the Fire Blast this turn. And this is a Blaze boosted Fire Blast, so that is all well and good. So we're going to connect with the Fire Blast and take out the Smeargle. So Smeargle won't be getting up webs for on my side, but at the same time, I do lose my Infernate to Life or Recoil. So. Yeah, that really sucks. So now I'm gonna go out into my Celesteela again. Um, it was a 50-50 here because he either goes into the Raichu or the Scizor, but he goes out into his Scizor now, and I'm just going to um, stay in and click Fire Blast. Um, just in the off chance that he tries to defog away the Sticky Web, because Webs um, does slow down the Greninja and the Raichu for my Seraptor. I go for Fire Blast, he reveals he is Akaberry, but because I am offensive, Celesteela, it is going to destroy and blow back the Scizor, so Scizor goes down, so at least for the most part, webs are webs and rocks are here to stay. I get my boost, my beast boost as I, he goes back out into his Raichu. I cannot stay in because I am not at um, autonomized boosted. 
And with that being said, I'm just going to make the um, <clears throat> aggressive play. Well, not really aggressive, but the safest play I could, which was to go out into my ditto and copy the um, copy the Raichu and hopefully try to get like some momentum going. Um, because I thought that the entire time he was um, Lightning Rod, but he goes for Volt Tackle and I didn't absorb it, so he was static. So that does suck. Now here was the second bad play on my end. Um, I was fearful of the Glide Score coming in, so I clicked Grass Knot. Um, but in retrospect, I should have just clicked um, Volt Tackle because what I, what Volt Tackle would have allowed me to do, as my Ditto does pick off the um, Ditto pick off the Raichu. But if he went, if I went for Volt Tackle, I would have been able to force in the Glide Score. Glide Score will be forced to kill my Ditto. With Earthquake, I go Stella Steeler and click Autonomize. Um, and I can potentially win by clicking Fire Blast on the Glide Score and Giga Drain on the Ash Greninja. Barring Water Shuriken didn't blow back my Stella Steeler because I did take Rocks damage and all that stuff. So here I have to go Stella Steeler now um, and hope that a I don't get destroyed by like a, a Hydro Pump, but. He's going to reveal the Darkinium Z on the Ash Greninja, so he's going to fire off a Black Hole Eclipse on my Stella Stella, and because I am minus uh, Spadef nature, I know I'm not going to live this Black Hole Eclipse, and that essentially just cost me the game because I got my Mega Venusaur around, this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> Um, and as you see, my last Pokemon is the, the Star Raptor here. I'm just going to, um, I'm going to go for Brave Bird here. Just try, try to make it a 1-0, but unfortunately, the Water Shuriken is going to pop off. And the only way I would potentially have won is if we got to a 1-0 is if he only hit twice. But because Water Shuriken, he guaranteed at least three hits. That is not possible. So we're going to lose 2-0 to the uh, Calgary Flame Wheels, which does suck because of the fact that um judging from a matchup standpoint I know that um I know just based on the fact that looking at his team from team preview that Autonomous Celesteela puts in a crap ton of work against his entire team just run down Greninja, Giga Drain, Drapion Earthquake, Raichu Earthquake, Smeargle not even a question Glycer gets two shot by Fire Blast and Scizor Fire Blast. So I'm really kicking myself because of the fact that I let Ash Greninja have its way with my team. I let I sacked my Mega Venusaur so ridiculously early and for a very vague reason. I, I was trying to get him. I was trying to sweep with Ditto, but at the same time, I had no reason not to switch into Crocodile after I popped. The air balloon and force that thing out. Unless the Drapion had Aqua Tail, which would make sense, um, which I didn't get to see actually. Um, but if he didn't have Aqua Tail, then Crocodile could have um, pressured enough to the point where he'd be forced to go Glide Score, and then from there I can at least force it out, and then it would be a lot. It would be a different batch. That's basically what I'm saying. Of course, the second play was me clicking Grass Knot on the. On the right shoe, like I said, I should have clicked Volt Tackle, forced the Glide Score in to kill my Ditto, then I go Stella Stella and click Autonomize, and I could still have won the game that fashion. So there was a lot of situations where I could have won this game, and I just did not take that opportunity to do so whatsoever. I'm not trying to take away from the f that um the fact that Dan that Dan had a good game. I'm just upset the fact that I essentially threw away the game in a manner of speaking but I'm not going to get salty I'm not going there's nothing to get salty about because there was no hacks it was just me not playing to the point where I had my plan set up to sweep with Ultima by Celesteela and I didn't do that much so nonetheless we are now three and four yeah three are now three and four um, and somehow still in the fifth spot in the playoff um, contention and all that stuff. Uh, I will leave a link to Dan's side of the battle in the description. Check him out and all that stuff. If you guys still did enjoy the battle, regardless, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. 
Um, it does not get any easier because next we play uh, Merck and his team, Burger Kingler, who hasn't lost yet and is on top of the conference for a good reason um, with his ridiculously scary team, and I have to play that. So, I'm um, just going to end it there. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to go rambling on about... Um, stuff like this. So, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna get the heck out of here. And until the next time, guys, my name is Anthony, aka Tone. I'm gonna catch you guys on the flip side. Later!